Hi everyone, our subject today is syncope in pediatric. Syncope, transient loss of consciousness, typically lasting no longer than one to two minutes due to a transient drop in cerebral perfusion. It is a common complaint in older children and adolescents. 15 to 25% of children and adolescents report at least one episode before adulthood but is usually unusual in children less than six years of age. Syncope usually benign in, uh, benign in children, but must be carefully addressed because it may occasionally herald a life-threatening condition. When uh, recurrent, it can generate a significant amount of stress for a patient and family. Presyncope is a constellation of symptoms associated with the sense that one is about to pass out, but without a loss of consciousness. Presyncope should be approached in the same diagnostic manner as syncope. History, a question detail history of the spell, focus on signs, symptoms prior to the event, significant most important information used to distinguish syncope from seizure or head trauma. A question the child or observer may recall presyncopal sign, significant, often present in uh, patients with the benign syncope, such as warmth, diaphoresis, lightheadedness, nausea, palpitation, auditory or visual changes, all lasting only a few seconds before loss of consciousness. Question family about family history significance. Obtaining a careful history is essential. Family history of sudden and expected death, seizure, syncope, cardiomyopathy, or arrhythmia, especially at younger age, or requiring pacemaker, implantable, defibrillator, should trigger further testing and investigation. The question syncope during exercise or without warning significant may indicate an underlying arrhythmia. Question generalized tonic clonic movement significant may occur with syncope, presyncope signs point to the non-epileptic nature of the event. Question increasing duration of con unconsciousness significant suggest increasing probability that the event is epileptic rather than syncope. Caution, syncope may be associated with a convulsion in patient with epilepsy. Epilepsy may rarely mimic a syncopal episode or a recurrent presyncopal symptoms. Temporal loop syncope seem to occur principally in adult or adolescent. Question detail of body position, eye movement, and respiratory pattern significant may help determine etiology. Question carbon monoxide poisoning uh, significant may cause syncope like uh, spell ask about potential exposure. Physical examination key finding to uh, document include the following vital sign with the orthostatic pulse and uh, blood pressure changes, four extremity blood pressure, pulses in arm and leg, fundoscopy possible uh, papilledema. Uh, cranial brewery, precordial thrill, heart sound, gallop, click, rub, significant murmur. How to approach to patient with the syncope after performing history and physical examination? Perform ECG, orthostatic uh, blood pressure, uh, with or without urine HCG in adolescent girl. If it is positive HCG, then it is pregnancy. Abnormal orthostatic blood pressure, it is orthostatic hypotension. Uh, then, uh, if there is uh, abnormal ECG, refer to cardiology for further evaluation. Differential diagnosis may include arrhythmia, Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, Long QT syndrome, Borgada syndrome, obstructive uh, lesion, aortic stenosis, pulmonic stenosis hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, coronary artery anomaly, congenital, Kawasaki, other causes of myocardial ischemia, infarction, myocarditis, other myocardial dysfunction, pulmonary hypertension, intracardiac mass or tumor, subclavian steel syndrome. 
if it is a normal result, then is there sign or symptom suggestive of cardiac etiology? If it is yes, then as we mentioned, refer to cardiology for further evaluation. If there is no sign of symptom of cardiac etiology, then is there suspected neurological disorder? If it is yes, obtain EEG, a neurology consultation, maybe seizure disorder, brain tumor, or migraine. If it is uh, no uh, suspicion of a neurological disorder, is it recurrent episode more than two to three times? If it is uh, yes, refer for cardiology for consideration of tell test or other evaluation. Uh, diagnosis may include vasovagal, post, uh, postural reflex, uh, neural mediated, situation syncope, cough, maturation, defecation, hair grooming, stretching, orthostatic hypotension, hypovolemia, related to medication, postural orthostatic, tachycardia syndrome. If it is not recurrent, differential diagnosis may include vasovagal, postural reflex, and neurally mediated situation syncope, cough, maturation, defecation, hair grooming, stretching, orthostatic hypotension, hypovolemia, related to medication, postural orthostatic, tachycardia syndrome, breath holding spell, hysteria, conversion disorder, metabolic hypoglycemia, electrolyte disorder, anemia, hyperventilation, pregnancy, anorexia nervosa, carbon monoxide poisoning. Recommended investigation. Often only uh, throughout physical examination, detailed history and family history are needed if uh, findings are consistent with the vasovagal syncope. ECG and cardiac consultation, significant if the event is uh, suspected to be symptomatic of a heart condition or there is a concerning history, family history, an ECG and cardiac consultation may be indicated. Treadmill, ECG, halter monitor, echo, EEG, MRI for chiari malformation. Significant children with unexplained syncope may undergo more extensive tests. Glucose, CBC, blood gases, spinal tap, significant. Laboratory test may be appropriate based uh, on clinical uh, suspicion of the underlying cause. Alert. Bitfall, recurrent syncope due to a prolonged acute interval may be missed on routine ECG. Prolongation of acute interval may only be noted on treadmill testing or cardiac monitor. Peers, perform a complete history including re uh, relevant uh, personal and family history in a syncopal patient obtain an ECG in patient with cardiac syncope, perform a pregnancy test on a sexually mature female. Thank you for your listening.